Hi guys, my name's Harry, I work for JZ Mics. Uh, we're back again to talk about vocal layering. Now, personally, this is one of my favorite things to do. So I brought up a session from one of my bands with my vocalist, Luke Sweetman, who is a dear friend of mine and an incredible vocalist. We've spoken about sessions that I've worked with him on previously as well. One day I'll try and get him into a video, but for now this will have to do while we're during COVID and again in another lockdown. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I have, Brought up a section of the um, the song that we've been working on very recently uh, for my band Nova Status. This will be out a little bit later next year, but for the meantime, you guys can have a little bit of a sneaky peek. Um, so this is the solo main vocal, just centered. Um, this give you a bit more of an idea of a baseline style of vocal that you'll need to have in order to kind of get a good result with this. We use the BH uh, two from the Black Hole series mainly just because it complements Luke's vocal very, very nicely. Um, the BB-29 uh, would have worked very nicely as well with its top end lift, um, but this was kind of the main one that kind of shone for this vocal in particular. Um, the V11 shines quite nicely with my vocals because I've got quite a thin voice, so I usually kind of bump up the lower mids on mine anyway, so make sure that you you know, shoot out your vocal mic before you do this as well. Especially if you're using multiple vocalists like we are in this as well, you'll kind of hear the different tones mixing in between each other. So anyway, let's have a little listen. Um, you had your way with me. You said you won my love, but it was not meant to be. So yeah, it's quite a thick vocal, really, really nice melody. Not too much power in his vocal, which is good for this kind of style that we're going for. So I'm going to add in the main harmonies, which are the ones that I do, so you can hear how I've panned those. Now, I don't pan these 100% left and right, as I've explained in the, uh, the blog post, link below in the description, if you want to have a good look at that as well. Um, I use a plugin called Real ADT from Waves. And I use this purely for the fact that one, I can pan within the plugin itself, and two, it mimics tape heads that are moving at very speeds. So they're kind of acting like a doubler, as well as also panning very, very nicely. I pan only between 75% and 50%, mainly for the fact that if you look in terms of stereo image, like a semicircle, over on these sides, you've already got the guitars left and right. You've got the drum rooms, you've got the drum overheads, you've got a paraphernalia or a space in between that to play with. In the center image, you've got the kick, the bass, center vocal, harmony guitars, lead guitars, all that extra space can be played with to help your vocal harmonies stand out in the mix. Hence, 75% to 50%, you're only gonna get toms occasionally in that point, maybe a lead guitar or some other post-production elements like violins if you decide to add them in. So let's have a listen to that with this and you'll hear within the spread of things where they are. You had your way with me You said you won my love But it was not meant to be So reel me in, I'll play the fool You know I won't say no to you Come drag my hand, we'll dance all night long, baby so now you're starting to hear that we're not, it sounds like it's fully over, but it's not in terms of, of the actual mix. So let's now add in this vocal here. Um, and you can have a little listen to that part as we go in. Am I <clears throat> it's important to note as well that at the moment there's no octave vocals. There's not any effects or anything like that. This is just pure harmonies altogether. Okay, so moving on to octave vocals, there are two different types that I've done within this track itself. So I'm gonna keep my harmony on. I'm gonna keep this extra dub layer on as well. Um, that is an extra harmony in the center, just a lower in volume so it blends a bit. And I'm gonna start adding this one that I've so optically named uh, Cad Bane vocal, um, purely for the fact that it sounds like the voice of Cad Bane from the Clone Wars animated series. So 
can drag my hammer dance all night long, baby. And my head no time. So it's quite a cool vocal. Um, it's actually using a little Alter Boy plugin uh, from Sound Toys. Um, you, and the settings are in the blog post uh, below as well. So go check that out if you want to get something similar. Uh, I was actually inspired by Phineas, um, the producer for Billie Eilish. He uses the same plugin to get the same style vocal with Billie. Um, it's got this textured grain effect that you can't really get with any other plugin, um, but it gives you that sub octave lower feel um that i really wanted to get and then i can blend that 50 50 with the original octave vocal that i got luke to do anyway so then moving on to the second octave vocal i'm actually using this plugin from eventide called octavox um and i've formatted it into a i think it's a fifth harmony um yeah it's a fourth interval so um i'm currently uh, i'm not doing any sort of pitch tracking or anything like that um necessarily i've kind of i've set the scale i'm not using a huge amount of the pitch editing in this um to move it in i'm i've done already uh, a bit of that with um and terra's uh just to try and pitch correct it as we go and then on top of that i'm then adding this isotope vocal synth which is a absolutely brilliant plugin um really really good for vocoder effects um it's got this talk box and this polyvox part going on as well and just gives this new flavor and grain and depth to it that with the altar boy you'd get with that already in there but this is is much more in depth so for someone like me where i wanted to get something completely different but similar at the same time um it worked really really nicely for me so that's these two moving into each other you'll hear the difference in the octave vocal, but it's still staying an octave. If we just soloed that one by itself as well, you'll be able to hear it as they go into each other. almost sounds more natural that one um like a naturally shifted pitch whereas the other one sounds much more robotic in its in its timbre so with that all said uh, i hope that this has inspired you to maybe try vocal layering in your next project in the meantime until the next video stay creative